Right. It would be a, an impractically large book, and it would it wouldn't be able to sell it at a price that people would buy. Yeah. And make money. I guess. I don't know. Um, but, uh, the rule set that, I, that, that, the, the homebrew rules that I had sent, I have slightly mixed feelings about them because they make, they're very, like, they seem very fun. Um, but they, they're almost too much. They like add a lot of like attacks and stuff that the mouse can do, which is cool, but it's kind of a lot. And it's like, I don't know if that's necessary. You just need them. The main thing is you just need them not to die, right? So uh, I do like some of the rules, though, where if a mount, like, attunes to its rider, basically, uh, over a long rest, um, um, they get some temporary hit points. I kind of feel like it should be... Uh, an increase to their max HP rather than temp HP, but um, and then uh, yeah, they get to add all, all their their proficiency bonus becomes the 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 character's the the, the writer's proficiency bonus, um, mm. and we bet better for better or worse, uh, and that adds also to their AC to their damage, I think. I, I don't remember exactly what, but it's the same as like a, a, a ranger animal companion. Mm. Um, but my what favorite part of all of that say? is the saving yeah. throws and the, and the HP. Because that, oh. that seems like... Uh, and then I had a suggestion, which is the, uh, the mounted combat feat that allows you to redirect attack rolls aimed at your mount to yourself, I kind of feel like that should just be a thing that any writer can do, because that's just a great way to keep your mental alive. Um, I mean, if you want to, I, I, would, I would let you take a hit for your mount if you really want to. Um, for me, it wouldn't make quite as much sense, partly because my right. horse can come back to life, but also I can kind of do that anyway now. Yeah. With anybody. I can take anybody's hit. I like the idea of um, of in mounted combat you can either control your horse or your, your mount or not. Um, mm -hmm. If you're not controlling it, it can attack and do whatever it wants to and has its own initiative. I like that if you actually are controlling your mount, that it the only options are that, just engage and dodge. I like yeah, that. I think that makes um, sense. Another thing that the rule set that I had sent suggests, which I think is cool but not necessary, is that everybody gets a bonus action. If you're riding a horse, as a bonus action, you can get your... See, now that, I, now that I'm starting to say it, you can get your horse to dash, disengage, or dodge. If you use a bonus action, or you can use that bonus action to, um, uh, you basically use one of the horse's attacks. Um, that's that's a, an increase in power level, though. So I, I feel like the only the only thing that I feel like is like would be a a um, tangible improvement to mounted combat would just be to give horses more like HP. Because that wouldn't really make them more powerful, per se. It would make them more powerful. Um, but it seems like it would make them more powerful in a good way. Basically, just um, it would give you time to, if your mount starts taking damage, it would give you time to send them out of combat rather than mm -hmm. they just die instantly. Um. Uh, But now let's say that if you are mounted on a horse and you're controlling it, that you can take a hit intended for yeah, your that's horse. That's a good start. That'll, that'll help mm -hmm. it stay alive longer if they get targeted. Mm -hmm. um, I, my character doesn't necessarily need 
any rules to make modern combat better, I think, because I can kind of, you know, because I can already take the hit from the horse and my horse comes back to life. I figured if Daniel wants to join me in mounted combat, he might need a little bit of uh, horse insurance, I guess. Although I kind of poo pooed the idea of both of us riding the same horse, and then I, after the session, I was like, oh, that, what did I, "That was that was a fun idea." <laughs> but I also like you having a, just a monstrous horse, just a huge, ridiculous big horse, just a just a, a Clydesdale riding alongside. Me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like a dwarf riding a Clydesdale is already a nice yeah. juxtaposition. Of yeah. Size. And uh, uh, mounted like spell casting combat is a very fun idea. Oh, I bet! I bet. You you get the uh, the speed of your mount, and then you can mm-hmm. maybe reposition to get better better like AOE effects or something. Yeah. Yeah. What might also help to not kill the mounts instantly is if you just, like, give your characters more ability to, like, knock us off of our mounts, you know? Just, like, don't feel bad about knocking us off of our mounts because it's, like, that's the nice thing to do. (laughs) Right. (laughs) <clears throat> All right. Um, I think we can play test what we thought about so far. Yeah. Oh, I really. Uh, my horse is really smart too. I didn't realize that it has an intelligence of six because of the spell. That's that's cool. So it was smart enough to sneak around and try to... Try to yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's there's a video I watched about uh, the, like, Awaken spell. Where you just awaken a creature. Um, and it was very funny, but it was very sad, the idea of, like, some wizard awakens a pig. And the pig is now eternally like stuck between, pig, you know, uh, humanity and pigness, <laughs> and like they can never really, you know, exist among pigs in the same way again. And I kind of wonder if my horse is the same way. It's like definitely a horse and thinks like a horse, but also it, it there's like a weird separation between other horses. So, it, like, we'll have a nice time hanging out with horses, but it's always, like, a little bit... It, it's, it's not... You know, it can't really go back. But also, I mean, not to get into my backstory, but I don't think the horse remembers a time when it wasn't this version of a horse. So. Oh. Yeah. We're both cursed. All right. <clears throat> oh, okay. So, uh, picking off where we left off, you have def- um, managed to drive away the hags who were trying to lure you in with the legendary Worm Slayer. Um, you managed to kill one of the hags. Um, her body is still floating in the water, right here. Uh, do you guys want to pick up her body? I think we have to search it. I will, um, yeah. Okay. Um, or, or a size, 
and goes over with Traglin to, to maybe drag it onto land a little bit. I'll put my muscle easier. into it, yeah. <clears throat> all right, so the body is kind of shredded from all the, all the horse hoof attacks. And um, I think Traglin, you hit it with a couple spells. So um, it's, it's pretty beat up. Um, you guys um, do manage to find some, like, very obscure, like, hag trinkets on her that you're not 100% sure mm. what they do or if they function for other creatures. Um, but uh, you do find a, a, a bird skull with some decorations on it. Um, I'll, I'll leave it up to Traglin if he wants to take any of that stuff. Um, no, I, I'm, I'm good without picking any of it out. Uh, uh, <clears throat> um, Alrighty. I'll try to leave it in the most respectful way I can think of for a, a sea hag. Sure. I guess I'll, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. That's what you do to witches. I, I'm not sure if it's better to leave her in the water or on the land. So I guess we'll split the difference and just drag the like upper body is is on the shore while the legs are kind of in the water. <laughs> I don't want to be that here is. in a month. <laughs> yeah. All um, right. Um, as, as you guys finish. Uh, um, positioning the, the hag in what you think is the most respectful uh, manner. The forest around you and seeming to be um, kind of centered on the, uh, the gatehouse up here and kind of billowing outward. Um, kind of starts to shift and move, and trees are kind of groaning against each other. Um, and... Uh, let's see. Um, a, a sparkling wave of of uh, fireflies starts to burst out and is going to uh, uh, envelope you guys. So oh, I'm envisioning this as sort of a, a skill challenge. So um, you guys can give whatever, um, whatever ability checks or whatever um, Whatever skill proficiencies you think might be appropriate for the various things that are incidentally coming at you. Um, so, billowing wave of pipe flies. <clears throat> I'm going perception on mine. Okay. okay. Um, hmm. Uh, all right, do you want to try anything else? Or um, yeah, I want to... Um, uh, I think I want to bellow out uh, uh, a war cry as we like. Are we we're fleeing the uh, I, I leave that up to you guys, whether you want to flee or whether you want to dive into it. Well, hmm. One idea I had, I don't know if it's worth it seems extremely risky, but I could try to get to the hag's hut before her. She might be able to teleport, I don't know. But we're, 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 I don't know that we can plan that much in the moment. Um, yeah, I think in, in any case, we're getting on... We got, uh, you know, I'm on my horse. I think I'm going to ride, like, in front of Traglin and just kind of wave my axe in, like, a big circle as I'm going and, and just kind of shout and try to do intimidation to just, like, ward the, the, the flies away for a moment. 
Give us a <laughs> cool. Uh, yeah, go ahead and give that a try. Sixteen. Okay. All right. Uh, with your so with um, with Traglin trying to find the best path through, and you intimidating them with your um, your your lance uh, through the thick of these fireflies. Uh, you guys managed to get through that wave of glimmering fireflies um, unimpeded, and that will be one success. Um, all right. Uh, then it seems like the the trees are actually uh, moving and changing positions, like. Uh, big, towering icebergs in a tumulus sea. So, um, between these crashing, um, uh, like, uh, tree trunks and snapping branches, um, how do you guys want to proceed? Bob and weave, duck. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I have to, I gotta, I have a big axe. I'm gonna try to chop, chop a branch. Can I do that? Is that like a? Can I do an attack roll as part of this? Um. But I have an axe uh, against wood. You you can do you can do athletics. Um, okay. but Traglin would I think in this case have to either help or would have to help you. Okay. If Traglin was going to do something this time. Uh yeah, I will grab the back of your um, chest plate. And kind of steady you as you. Oh, swing. cool! I can like lean out farther. Yeah. While you're steady. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Cool. All right. All right. Let's go with athletics. Yeah. Oh, no problem. No problem. Uh, as those tree branches swing and the, uh, the 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 tree trunks would have crashed into you, you're swinging your your axe and managing to ward them off um, or cut through them or um, just make enough space to, to get through without any issues. All right, that is two successes. Uh, nice. Um, um, after the trees start crashing into each other and settle back down, um, the path has has, um, well, actually, any path out of here has, um, has vanished. You guys can't see where you were before or, um, where you are now. So, and a, a thick fog is starting to creep up and, uh, twist into weird shapes in the corner of your eyes. Um... This looks like it is some form of a, a magical mist. So, right. uh, what do you guys want to do here? <laughs> Hold my breath. Um, well, I was just reading through my abilities, and I apparently have Devil's Sight, which means I can see through non-magical and non-magical darkness for 120 feet. Would this count? Uh, this is fog. It is physically obscuring your vision. Okay. So no. All right. Uh, I mean, uh, maybe a stretch, but um, if it's like, you know, a tr trick that's trying to kind of ensnare us and mislead us, do you think a, an insight check might make sense to like subvert that and go where it, where I feel that it's trying to obscure and like find the path in, you know, defiance of the magical, you know, fog? Okay, that, that might make sense, yeah. Uh, yeah, sure. Right. Evan, do you want to do anything? Um... No, I can't think of anything to try other than just lame, like blow into the fog and see if I can clear it. But I don't have anything that would make that 
<laughs> in any way spectacular, so I just continue to hold my breath. <laughs> I... That's real funny. Uh, Traveling a <laughs> constitution saving throw as you hold your breath. <laughs> Against what? <laughs> Passing out? Passing out or inhaling something? <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, so, Ore, you uh, manage to see, <clears throat> see the, 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 the ways that the fog is leading you, and you say, nope, and you turn into where the fog is, is sort of trying to keep you away from. And as you, uh, as you look out, um, as you make your way finally um, through twists and turns out of the fog, uh, you've realized that uh, Traglin has fallen asleep against your back <laughs> and has been snoring for the last uh, Oh, no. And the only reason I don't uh, slide off is because my hand is still crammed into one of the bands of your chest plate. Just yeah. Yeah. dangling limply out of it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to have to give her more hair. Hey, Traglin. Traglin, are you poisoned again or did you just fall asleep? Hey, Traglin! <laughs> jostle, jostle. <clears throat> it was pretty bad constitution. Um, once I once I feel like we're away, I'll take a moment to stop riding and and then wake Traglin up. All right. Um, <laughs> Traglin, we're, we're, we're out, I think. What? Oh. Who said my name? Yeah, that was me. So, you guys have managed to escape from the strange um, nature things that were going on as um, the hags fled and um whatever strangeness that was um, sorry I'm, I'm assuming you guys were fleeing away um were you fleeing towards it by any chance i thought we were going to the hut to just kind of hide out and observe but um if you want to escape that's fine with me well yeah i um something i, I floated we we I had a possible secret plan that I floated to, to Daniel, but I don't know how he feels about that. Uh, yeah. Not a secret <laughs> plan that we'll keep from you, but uh, we were. I was considering riding back to the hut to try and break out, um, like use this moment to try and break out the musician, partly because the hags might not be there, but also because... Like also has like a little bit of a retaliation, not that Ore feels the need to take revenge, but like it seems like a good time to do it. It's also a very dangerous time to do it though, because if our intention is to ride there and get there before the hags, because they have like fairy magic and stuff, but we have horses, <laughs> so you know, um, it seems possible that we might get there before them and be able to attempt to break the musician out. How do you feel about that, Daniel? I like that idea. What is happening with the bot? I do not know. Let's boot uh, it. Oh. Calm down. <laughs> I think it also stopped. Yeah, it's not playing. Uh, I might need to reboot it myself, but... Okay. Here, there it goes again. Ooh. 
Oops, that's me. Oh, no. Oh, is how far is it though? Shit. Cuz we might um, get It was We got we, we 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 rode we we got to the at least once between the edge of the forest and oh, okay. where you are now. So it's okay. it's a good um let's see. Um 20 miles, so a half a day's ride. Okay, that seems doable. Um, although we might be pushing ourselves a little bit, but I imagine we're not going to get exhaustion on the way there. Although we do want to ride as quick as we can through the woods. Oh, but the horses aren't actually making us any quicker through the woods, are they? Uh. I think, I think they would. That you still okay. have a higher movement speed, even if it's difficult terrain. Yeah. All right. Well, I, I vote there, but it, but again, I'm aware that it's kind of risky. There you go. All right. All right. Somebody roll me a 1d20. Let me do that. Seventeen. Alright. Against your measly three. All right. Sorry. Against a measly three, yes. Alright. Um <laughs> never, the the one D twenty it's nothing, don't don't worry. Okay. <laughs> 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 Alright, um, are you guys, uh, united on going to the huts, the hag's hut? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I like that okay. idea. Let's bust the hey. guy out. Alrighty. I have one more divine sense, which I plan to use. Once we get there to see if there's any hags home. Alrighty, you guys are back here. Where is Traglin? I'm down by the musician. Now I'm drowning. Now I'm on the bridge. Kimosabi! <laughs> That's not my name! Have the hags returned? Give me that name. What name do you want? Better think fast. We don't have much time. Uh, I gave up my name. I don't remember it anymore. Yeah, I know, but maybe like... Okay, yeah, I, I, that's her. I don't know. Are the hags home? Did you see anyone come back? No, I no, nope. They uh, they they went away. Uh, uh, let's see, earlier today, and I haven't seen them back. Yeah, we uh, had a run in with them down south, and we ran here, as quick as we could. Um, we're gonna try to break you out if we can. Tell me. Again? All right. You're, you're very willing to, to give it a try. It's, it's, um, I, 
Oh, but it's not entirely. Um, no, it is. Never mind. I was going to say it's not entirely selfless, but. Uh, I guess I don't think. Uh, uh, or I would say either way. Um. Oh, right, I should put myself up. Uh, nice. Both. Yeah, I guess we can. The horses don't need to cross the rope bridge. Um, Are there any protections on the hut that you know of? Um, that I know of? Uh, let me think. Um,. The, the the door is, is grouchy. Um, other than that, I don't know of any protections. I haven't been in there okay. a long time. Grouchy. Do door. Hmm. Oh, I do actually have to ask, is it a new dawn since our fight? Did we ride until morning? Uh, the, the fight happened at about midday, so it is about... Oh, okay. Dusk. Um, I was hoping for a healing flask to come back. Um, although I did, since we leveled up, do do, do we did I get a a, a spell slot? Uh, because I I gained a new spell slot from the level up. Do I have that spell slot? Yeah, I would okay. say so. Yes, just for one spell slot. Uh huh. Um. All right, yeah, I'm I'm gonna jump off uh, your and uh, run to the uh, to the hut. All right. Um, a uh, a, a face of the of the hag will will appear in the wood grain of the door and say, Go away! We're closed! You're open! <laughs> uh, you're open! You're open! Jacob Marley, go... <laughs> go har- you haunt, overslept! Go haunt your partner in crime, Jacob Marley. Yeah! <laughs> um... The, the door will... will... The, the the face will fade away from the door, um, and uh, you can do what you want with the door. Are you breaking it down? Yes. <laughs> All right. The door. <laughs> you hack into it with your great axe. <laughs> the whole hut. And it trembles as as the uh, as its weak timbers um, absorb that impact, and you you spool into the uh, the rotting wood, and the yeah. door opens. Yeah, I'll give it like a couple hacks and like pry it open and push push through, and um, uh, now I'll cast divine sense once I'm inside of the hut. Uh, okay. Um, there is a... Uh, now that you are inside the hut, and, um, which you've never been in before, um, you can sense that there's a, a long box in the corner over here that is, um... Giving off an undead stench. Ooh. Okay. Uh, in which corner? Oh, yeah. Um. I'll shout out to Traglin. I see some. I feel something undead in here, in the in the north, uh, west corner. Um. Wow. What are we even looking for? 
I'll take about uh, 10 seconds to run over. What? While what? he's running, I'll look for my hair. <laughs> oh, your hair. Oh, my gosh. Uh, wow. I'm uh, assuming she know. had it to scry on us, but maybe she scried from the cabin. I don't know. Um, you don't find the hair anymore. Alright. You, you um, find that the little box that she put it in at the time, but um, the hair itself is not in there in... anymore. She consumed it. Spell. Probably not. Um... I don't know. I, I guess I was hoping there might be some kind of record in here. A book of names. She probably would have that with her, but... I don't know. I think we just gotta turn the place over. Uh, okay, yeah. Let, let, let's do that. Only because I was thinking of burning the place to the ground once we were done. But, if you want to search we could first... Do that. Now, if you want to I search mean, first and just be sure. Let's I'd like to search it, burning it, if you think that would help. <laughs> I guess she's going to be pissed at us either way. <laughs> at least. I mean, she won't be able to tell how to turned over it is if it's burned down. I guess that's true. I. Uh, oh, you oh, can yeah. make an investigation, um, and if you want to help Traglin, or you can have advantage. Yeah. Can I'll, I help I'll, Traglin? I mean, I'm assuming I have a zero investigation. I have good investigation. Let's. I'll let's, help you. Yeah, let's swap that. I'll, I'm looking for just your hair, <laughs> right? Yes. Okay. Um, I mean, primarily what I want, the thing I want the most, it seems like my hair is not in here. What I want to find the most is uh, something that might help us get uh, the musician out of here because I want to take, I want to take our musician. Understood. I want to free him also. Yes. Okay. Ten. <clears throat> All right. Um, with a ten, you do find a big, massive tomb um, that looks like it's been around for centuries and um, has various... Uh, Sketches in it of various evil deeds. Um, you meant to Where? find a sketch. Tomb? What? Like like a dead person's tome. tomb? Or do you say like tome? Tome. Oh, 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 okay. I, yeah, I was like, what? Uh, various sketches in it. Um, one of the sketches does look like... Um, <clears throat> does look like the disheveled... Um, person that you guys are trying to save. The book, however, is written in um, a language that you guys probably don't know offhand, unless, Traglin, you have that invocation that lets you read all languages? I do. It's called Eyes of the Rune Keeper. Ah, okay. I should have read this last <laughs> chapter of my class list, because I'm like, wow, all this stuff I didn't know I had. Or I knew I'm assuming I the I evil do. book of names is, is not written in Celestial. <laughs> uh, Alright, so uh, Traglin, you are... Uh, wow, you're able to, to read this book. If um, you... I, I need to clarify this, because it's just like, I suddenly discovered this Eldritch Invocations chapter in the Warlock class. And I'm like, does that apply to me or... Does it not? I feel like it does, yeah. but uh, I'm confused. Yeah, you get to pick like how a couple I, of them. How did I not? That's fun. Uh, I, I, I mean, on the one hand, it sucks that you didn't have them before, but I'm sure right. the discovery of like all this new shit you can do is right. fun. Right, right, well, it you, is. You had um, you had a, you had that one that gives you the plus something to agonizing the blast. blast. Right. Yeah. I think I read up through like my level six stuff and then it was like okay everything above here is above my level not right. realizing it was in alphabetical order <laughs> so yeah. 
Okay. Let's take it to the guy. Yeah. Okay, oh, yeah. Oh, Traglin, mm -hmm. I think maybe we shouldn't burn the place down. Oh? I have a different idea. And then while Traglin takes the, the book over to him, I'm going to start writing a note. Uh, the, the box, the long box in the corner has, has started thumping. Oh, oh shit! Oh god! Uh... <laughs> I'm gonna come outside and and start right like using the broken door as a hard surface to write on. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think I was I was using the coffin as a as a writing surface and it bumps. Oh god. <laughs> I. Okay, you have an idea. I just had an idea too, but I I'll go with your idea first because. Yeah. Right. I think we gotta no, read the guy's name to him. What is the note that you you're writing? Oh yeah. Uh, I would like to get to that in, in the event that we end up freeing the musician. Because if we don't free him, I might, I might not leave right. the note. All right. I, I will pick up the book. And, um, oh, right. We're supposed to read him his name. Yeah, that's right. And I'll rush over to the edge of the pit. I think so. All right. Thunk um, right on top of an old, like, planed off stump. <laughs> Heave it open and flip to that picture again. Yeah. All right. Uh, um. There are a lot. There are a lot of references to the bard in this particular section of the book. The bard said he would give me yada yada. The bard said he would give me. Um. The bar, um, I traded the bard's instrument to a, a devil in hell. Um, <laughs> think, things of, of that nature. Um, you can do a, um, I guess an, another, another investigation to dig through the, through all the references of the bard and see if his name is within them. Uh huh. And. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Wow. Okay. Um. There is one small s note, one small section, barely visible, that says, uh, that, that mentions uh, Talison. And that's the only awesome. reference aside from the Bard that. Um, you can find in this section. Talison. Huh. It says, I look over the edge of the pit. Does the name Talison mean anything to you? I call down. <laughs> um. <clears throat> Sorry, I left. Make an arcana check with advantage. Okay. Eleven. All right. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna give it to you, and uh, the the um, the the old decrepit man. His face will slowly poke up, and Talison, Talison, and what is my name? And as he says that, the the magical chain will will um, break off of his neck, and he will be. Oh my gosh. I am free. Thank you. And he'll do a little a little jig outside of his hole. For the first time. I was so worried he was going to turn into bones. Oh, that's oh. right. That's right. He is ancient. Been here for centuries, right? Yes. yes. Uh, I'll, I'll finish writing my note. Um, I'll grab like a little leaf and like break it open and just rub it on the paper to, to stain a part of it green. Uh, and then I'll, and then I will stick my dagger in it and stick it to the broken door, uh, and run back to the, to the horse. Uh, I was going to transfer a handout so I could like give you a handout, like, like, 
<laughs> like give the DM a handout. So that felt funny. But um, then I realized yeah. I can't I can't transfer handouts. Like I can with characters. So uh Aww. the note the note Oh, by the way, speaking speaking of handouts, I do have um under player handouts there's a player notes. I just intended that to be like oh. something that you guys could keep your own notes in about Ooh, like, I should have done that ahead of time, but that's okay. Uh, I could have put my, my, my secret there. But no, uh, it's going to be a little rhyme. Because I think the best way to threaten uh, like a fairy creature is with... It's barely a rhyme. It's basically not a rhyme. It's a paladin's attempt at a rhyme. Uh, it says, Cross us twice... Oh, oh, cross us once, we make a bargain. Cross us twice, we free your slaves. Your coven's loss is not our doing, but but that of one who lies with stakes. And and between the stanzas, there's a little uh, green Ouroboros drawn in the center. Just a little green dragon eating its own tail. Nice. Oh, that's awesome. Cool. Okay. I think I'll, I'll, I'll giggle a little bit as I run away. Uh... Back to the horse. I'll uh, I'll come back. Ah, you're gonna come this way. Okay, I'll meet you halfway on the bridge. And oh, check it out! I thumb over at the bard. Oh my god! Amazing! It worked. It worked. I recommend we keep this book. By the way. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Just in case we find any more people that have been on the witches, the hags, naughty list for. However long. Should I mean, should we try to Yeah. Should we I mean we could also like I mean, this is a little bit out of my wheelhouse. People ransom this stuff back, right? Ooh, that's true. Or we can just like do that if she messes with us again. Although, by the way, and I plunk the book down and then flip back to the page that says we sold the we bartered the bard's instrument in the inferno or wherever and i'll be like mm. uh t- a talisman uh it looks like your violin is now it now belongs to the devil it says here yeah. it was a harp but <laughs> in georgia it was a violin but whatever yeah <laughs> you might want to let that one go I don't know if you're getting that one back. I need it back. You don't understand. No, 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 no. Don't make any deals to get it back. Oh, Jesus. good point. We can't do this again. <laughs> and something is stumbling out of the, uh, the the broken doorway of the hut, you guys. Run or fight? What? Run. Okay, let's run. I'm out. Can... can can we put? The, can, can you take another passenger? I can. I got a yeah. giant horse. In fact, I'd be the passenger if we took my horse. Yeah. I figured you've got a, a bigger horse and you're smaller. Yeah. <laughs> Come with me. No. Did she just have a mummy? <laughs> I'm imagining it like as one of those like bog corpses that. Oh, nice! You know, it gets, it's all like shriveled and blackened, cool. but it's See, essentially a, a mummy. That's what I imagine our uh, um, our water hag is going to become if we leave her half submerged for too long. Yeah, she's just going to be all like half worm eaten and stuff crawling out of an eye socket. And... Yeah. All right, uh, you guys managed to get away from whatever the dreadful creature that that was, uh, and rescue rescue Talisman. That's that's awesome. <laughs> that went very well. <laughs> I had off off the record. I did have an idea. As you were saying, you wanted to write them a note. I was going to write another note, which would be an advertisement in the local like the local newspaper that said new bed and breakfast open for business and 
like do it up so that <laughs> no, it was like, and suddenly the hags, when they return to the hut, have nothing but like customers to take care of. <laughs> so they're completely distracted <laughs> from now on. <laughs> That's a good idea, except I, I worry what would happen to those uh, yeah. fools that travel to the hags hut True. looking for a bed and breakfast. Yeah. They become breakfast. Uh... <laughs> um, <laughs> Instead of so Airbnb, we'll... it's air fried B and B. Try and ride out of the forest. I mean, if we're, yeah. we're probably pretty exhausted by now, but yeah. we just gotta get some distance between us and this hut. Yeah. Yeah, let's 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 make a move. Let's get a move. Should we just try? Like, how far is it to get out of the forest? Because I feel like we kind of have to do that, unless we hide out in Goblin Town. But she knows that that's one of our bases of operation. Yeah, but we have the yeah. goblins there. We have the goblins there. They weren't much of a problem for her last time, though. No. I feel like I mean. Can't, can't, hmm. How much, how risky is it for us to it push? Is, it is, it is evening, so if you guys are going to travel now, it's probably going to be more dangerous. Yeah. But it's probably dangerous to stay, to start to rest by the hut as well, right? I would think so. I would opt we not. Should we, oh, okay. we're, we're weak though. Like, if we travel, if we push onto the road and take, like, a level of exhaustion... Well, let's just... And then have an encounter? Let's just go, like, halfway <clears throat> and then... Maybe dig- ride until we're on the edge of getting a level of exhaustion and just rest there? And dig in, a bur- dig in to the undergrowth and see if we can hide. Yeah. We have a. We could maybe get a song of rest if we do. If we do a short rest part way, mm. we could get a song of rest from this guy. I'd opt for that. Um, still wouldn't have any like. But we leveled up, so we maybe. Did you get any spell slots? Uh, did you get like a spell slot when you leveled up this I time? Did. Or yes, did I did. Yes, I did. Same slots. I did. I need maybe, to. Maybe. I, maybe I need to add all the spells, but I did get a spell slot, so that's good. So maybe it would be worth a risk if we take like a short rest part way and then just push through night to get out of the forest and like mm-hmm. rest in the early morning, like long rest. Sure. Off the road. I think this might be a situation where where Traglin could like if if you feel like that's too risky, Traglin could put a, a hand on on uh on uh Ori's shoulder and be like Calm down, dude. We gotta rest. <laughs> and then the like, you know, undying rider with haunted eyes would be like, "Oh yeah, right. I forgot about that." Okay. <laughs> well, right. Otherwise, I'm all for like short resting and then pushing to the road through exhaustion, possibly. I'd say let's go halfway. We can. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So ride as far as we comfortably can and then long rest in the woods.
Alrighty, as you guys uh, start to ride and make your way out of the forest towards the closest bit of road that you know of, Um, you start to feel, um, so, uh, night has, has, has fallen at, at this point, and... All of a sudden, as you're as you're moving uh, in the direction that you think the the road is, you feel you feel like these thoughts of like of just fear in your in your head, like the thought of of um of of bugs like crawling out of your armor nice. or the thought of um like uh claws in the dark uh grabbing you and dragging you out of sight um and then if as you as you push forward through those thoughts um you come across an area of the forest where there is all of these dark holes leading down into burrows in in the ground around the trees in entwining in the roots of the of the trees and you just feel a an really uneasy sense of of fear um what do you guys do uh Love the bugs. Uh, or it doesn't. But, uh... Mm. I'm trying to see if I have any, like, fear resistance abilities. I feel like that might be a specific paladin oath that I'm not. Is that oath of oath of devotion, or is that just a paladin thing? <laughs> oh, aura of courage. That's a that's a level ten ability. Never mind. So we're we're getting these. We've been getting these visions of fear, and now we're passing by these like weird pits in the ground yes weird tunnels in the ground i don't have any more divine sense um but should we slow and try to pass quietly and carefully if it's like burrows for creatures that we want to avoid do you think Uh, say that again I was I was just thinking maybe we slow down and ride quietly sure. to get past them I like that that seems prudent and with the feelings I'm getting I would not oppose, be opposed to that meaning we probably won't make it as far as we were hoping to the road before we're done for the day I can also I don't want to cast this yet, but I think in 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 non-game terms, in like world, however I, I explain this in a way that makes sense in character, I uh, share the the fact that I have calm emotions mm -hmm. as a spell, which can like potentially suppress, or, or uh, I think it can end like charmed and frightened effects on us. So. 
if it becomes a problem. Cool. I could potentially do that. But I've only got one spell slot, so okay. I'm going to save it. <laughs> what? I was adding level four spells to my list. <laughs> And I have hallucinatory terrain. I could fake us both out into thinking we're okay. <laughs> out of sight. Out of well, of course, we need the long rest for me to actually re-roll the spell. So. I mean, if it's an illusion that we're facing, that could work. Yeah, but we need to rest, I think, just because yeah. that'll give me my chance to, quote, level up and redo spells. Known spells. One of these has 30 health and one of them has 22. I think... Which one are you currently at? Oh, oh I'm at 30. Okay. My token's the one, like, at the bottom of the... call Because a bunch of my tokens say delete on them. Yeah. Those are those are no I longer gotta, I gotta clean that up. Um no rush. I'm just I'm at the bottom of the of the uh, uh, journal. Me and your <laughs> Okay, so here we are. There's the holes in the in the ground. Um and you guys are trying to Sneak past it. Um, go ahead and make a stealth roll if you're trying to sneak. All right. Um, can you tell me if this makes sense? Because I was thinking, I obviously my stealth checks are at disadvantage. While I'm riding, could I opt to have Eeyore make a stealth check instead? Yeah, Eeyore is at a slight advantage to make the... Yeah, Eeyore... Right. Still just a plus one. <laughs> <laughs> Traglin, do you want to make the dexterity check, or do you want your horse to make uh, Let's see. The horse would probably just bring it up to a plus one instead of a minus one, right? Well. Oh, I don't know if the draft horse has a different dex. Does the draft horse have a character sheet? I don't see it. I can, I can make it visible to you. It has a dex of ten, so it has a, it has a plus mm -hmm. two. Okay. Oh, that would still that would be a thirteen instead of a twelve. Of course, he's also and not I mean, selectable for me. That's all right. Um, I don't know if that'll make up for my seven. I mean, yeah, I would probably see about like guiding the horse quietly, right. and then just mm -hmm. taking the fourteen. Or that. Wow. And it's it's late at night, right? Mm-hmm. That is dark. Sure. Oh, um a uh, question, do you guys have any light sources? I don't need light uh, sources. Maybe right, if if that's the case, do you think maybe Traglin's riding in front and I'm following Traglin? That's reasonable. Because um, I do not have dark vision. Would that be possible, or do I need a light source to like not, you know, for my horse to not trip on stuff? If I'm going right in Traglin's wake. I'm okay with how I would really want to do it. All right, I'll go blind and just just follow, follow uh, a nil 
uh, Neil Gart. Sure. Maybe you you tie your horses together by the by the reins so that oh yeah, yeah. leading. I mean, maybe just like Traglin has one end and I have the other, rather than tie them, mm -hmm. so we don't get. Uh, although, if we are tied together, we could ride side by side and just close the line on, on the army, like those elephants in the Lord of the Rings. All right. Alrighty. Do you need me to? Oh, he already did roll his stealth check, I guess. Yeah. All right. Uh -oh. Um. So, Tradwin, as you try to ride by these holes quietly, mm -hmm. uh, you see that there is like small like bug creatures peeking out of these all of these some of these holes here. Um, two, four, six uh, I think that should be reasonable. Yeah. Um, and they, they sort of they sort of chitter to each other um, back and forth. Yep. And then, um, Are they speaking a language I would... No, I can only read them, sorry. I can only read written languages, that's all. Mm -hmm. That honestly kind of makes the ability cooler. I don't know. I'm so tempted to like call over, hey, could you write that down? <laughs> All of it. Um, is, is it clear that they're like speaking? Uh, they're kind of mechanically doing that chittering, but you okay, feel okay. like there's like other, there's other like they're they're like they're like looking at each other and then looking back at you. So there's definitely some kind of communication going on. Okay. Um. Um, and, uh, you'll actually, let's see, um, yeah, you'll, you'll, Traglin and Ole, you will, you will feel, um, telepathically this feeling of all of these bugs just, like, crawling onto you. Jesus. All at once. Um, this bug right here is going to teleport over onto your horse, Traglin and uh swipe at you what um uh, this is cool uh, mm -hmm. rolling the dice a 20. does a 20 hit uh definitely for eight damage um, yeah well a, well if I can as, if I can mm -hmm. I'm gonna cast hellish rebuke as a as a um no can I without a spell slot uh, I don't think I can Oh, I've burned all my spell slots. Never mind. I can't cast Hellish Rebuke as oh, a yeah, reaction. I forgot when I when I asked about the spell slots before. I forgot you were a warlock. Yeah. Okay. Eight. And all then, right. uh, as this thing claws its way claws into you. Can you make a constitution saving throw? Yes. I forgot, actually. Maybe three is four is too many. Uh, okay. Two? Twelve? Uh, yeah. uh, okay, cool. Um, great. Let's roll for initiative so we have everybody in... Oh. 
You, you made a big mistake, Sean. You have no idea how much how how much time we spent killing bugs in Deep Rock Galactic. <laughs> Got this down oh, to the yeah. science. Oh boy, hit them in the hit them in the soft spot. <laughs> Run around behind. I'll distract them. Uh, let me link these up to actual sheets here. Can I do that? Uh, oh. I'm just gonna roll once for them, and then they'll all go in a long time. That's what I always do. Twenty twenty plus two. Ah, oh, that was a horrible wow. roll on my part. All right. All right. So eight damage towards Traglin. Meanwhile, um, this other bug is going to, uh, yeah, also teleport over to, uh, the horse over here and take another swipe at you. Plus four. Uh, okay, that is probably a miss. Uh, this one over here is going to teleport over. Oh my god. <laughs> god. They're swarming me. A 14? Uh, that will hit. Okay. Or another 6 damage and one more constitution save. Oh, sorry. Fourteen. All right. I'll reduce uh, to one. one more buggy. Swarm <laughs> over, and this one's actually gonna attack the horsey. Me, it's me. You hear in your head. Oh, sorry. I remembered. I have temporary hit points. I'm gonna boost myself back up to forty and zero. Love this. Out. Whoa! I love these little freaks. These psychic bugs. You're gonna have to tell me what these are later. <laughs> how, how did you get temp hit points? I have temporary hit points from last session. I don't remember what it was. Uh, there was there was something at oh because when we kill something, I take. Temporary uh, hit points. Ah, uh, yes, right. Uh, horse AC 10, so it does take... Mind myself. 1d20 plus... No, 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 2d4 plus 2 damage. Yeah, I was thinking of making a spell that makes... That, like, makes either you or an allied creature just burst into flames. <laughs> this would be a perfect right now. If I could just make you catch on fire... <laughs> that wouldn't damage you. Right. All right. Okay. All right. Uh, okay. You are up. You are also blind. Um, Shit. but that's true. You're chittering and chattering and traveling screaming. Oh no! I gotta. I think I gotta use my action for light. Yeah, I gotta use my action for light. Um, I'll cast it uh, on the on Worm Slayer. Ooh, nice! All right. Um, I'm gonna do a aura on you. Um, or uh, spelled spelled O R E aura. <laughs> <laughs> uh, of, of course, how else are you going to spell it? Yeah. Uh, and, and as I'm flailing and looking through the gaps of non-bug space, I'm like, don't take that thing out. These aren't worms. Um. Alrighty. Um, any movement? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to just ride right up next to... Uh, I'm just gonna come to this side so that I'm so that I'm uh, next to Traglin. Uh, and I have spells that I can cast as a bonus action. Oh wait a minute! 
This might be good. No. That's an action. That's an action. I was seeing if any of my bonus action spells could be upcast. Um, but it seems like they can't. So, yeah, that's it. Do I have control of my horse yet, by the way? Uh, when you got on it, you would have decided... Oh, there it is. There it is. It. there it is. There it is. There it is. Oh. Well, I'm just... Actually, I don't... You, you mean, I like mean the I mean, a, yeah, the character sheet for it. Yeah. Yeah, is yeah. I just have its in bio. I don't have like access okay. to its abilities. I'm wondering if it should go um, undergo a wisdom saving throw for being spooked by suddenly should, like three right. bugs swarming me. Ah, it's gonna. I I forgot actually. Um, yeah. Uh, let's see, uh, O.A., Traglin, and Horsey, uh, they seem to have a fear aura. Um, Ooh, and Eora as well. Oh, Eora is Horsey. Uh, e two is two Horsey. I just yeah. got it. Eora. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, cause, but also because, yeah, your ears is... Your, your, your horse is fine, but, okay. um... Let's see for Ole and Eeyore here. Good boy, and I'll pat it on the neck. Uh, wisdom save? Yes. <clears throat> uh, that's the end of my turn, by the way. All right. Uh, so Ole, oh, the horse uh, gets a plus three, but it didn't help. Yeah, so Ole, go, let's back up a tiny bit. Uh, Eeyore doesn't seem to want to approach these buggies, but you gotcha. Can. All right, then I'll, yeah, I'll hop off of VR and and uh, run over uh, this this side. Uh, that's it. All right, and Traglin, what are you doing? Get off! Get off! And I'll I'll, I'll basically stand up on the saddle and <laughs> um, take out like uh, oh gosh, what are my actual weapons? I can never remember. Actually, I don't you have a lot as far as hand-to-hand -hand combat. I do have a hand axe, and I will take that. Unless you I think this would be great in real life to deal with bugs. Like if there was a bunch All right. in the house. Magic missile. <laughs> All right. I do... Automatic uh, hit. I can... Well... Yeah, I'll just stand up like this and <laughs> two hands. Not do magic missile, but fire. No, that wasn't necessarily a uh, Eldritch suggestion. blasts. No, I like this. I, I mean, it's like, right, get off, get off. And I'll cast right. two bolts, two, two blasts out of my hands. Uh, all right, the first one does hit. Um... Let's say this one. Uh, okay. Uh, minus. Uh, all right, that one. That one it takes your your uh, eldest blast and like chitters and. Um, projects that it's going to feast on your eyeballs uh, into your head. Mm. Me? Or? Yes, you okay. specifically. Okay. All right. Um, circling back around. Um, roll 
Um, one of these bugs that was on the horse, um, is going to leap onto you, Ole, and will try to claw at your eyes through your helmet. Uh, 23. Okay. Yeah. Four, seven damage. Oof. And a constitution saving throw. Oh, wait. Wait, it has... <laughs> Sorry. Um... Where is that? Alright. Um, in the bright light of the Worm Slayer's uh, glowing... It, it doesn't seem to be able to, to hit you as, as well as cool. as it could. So um, it's actually going to use the rest of its movement to uh, skitter into this hole here and into the darkness inside. All right. I will not take an opportunity attack against it. Okay. Because it's running away. All right. Um... Uh, the other three are going to bravely um, try and continue to at disadvantage. Uh, 2d20 plus 4. Uh, 17 plus 4 would have hit you, Tran. Um... Or... Oof, 10 damage. Me? Sorry, I'm... Yep. Okay. Got it. Starting to hurt. Alright, but the next one in the bright light of OA's light spell does not hit you. And number three, a, a, no, a, tw a 12 does not hit you. Okay. Correct. Right, you. Um, one constitution saving throw. Alright. Con uh, 10. Ooh, all right. So that that first bug that swiped into you this turn, um, its claws are gonna burn as they cut into into you, Traplin, and you are unfortunately uh, paralyzed. Gosh, Ooh. dang it! Okay. All right, you can make it. You can make a con save on each of your, at the end of each of your turns to end it. But for now, you are, you are paralyzed. All right. Um, okay, your turn. All right. Um, one second, I neglected the music. decide if I want to attack or if I want to do have one of them one of them spells you do have some section spells in your um, potion beads yeah the potions are well actually you know what 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 effect is traveling under right now paralytic paralysis. Uh, paralysis. oh 
Yeah, so um, I think I can help with that. I think I used the healing flask. You did. Uh, but I doubt I used the restoration flask. Yes, okay. He's poisoned. Uh, paralyzed, paralyzed. I'm going to uh, uh, put my... Uh, gently put my hand under Shraglin's chin and uh, feed him a, a, my uh, Flask of Restoration, which is a lesser restoration spell. Uh, or it's equivalent to a lesser restoration spell, which immediately cures paralysis and cool. poison. Uh, nice. Clutch. <clears throat> so yeah, I'll, I'll use my blue blue flask, and uh, I think I, I think I uh, yeah I have to attack. I'm gonna attack one of the uh, uh, one of the bugs, uh, uh, which is the one that got Eldritch blasted. Um, the one on the far side of Traglin over here. Mm-hmm. I'll... Mm, I can't go over there, because I'll take opportunity. Yeah, I'll just attack this one. Uh, with Worm Slayer. Uh, I'll go one-handed, since I used the potion. Like, okay. Oh, you know what? They're on a belt. Nah, if I feed it to someone else, there's no way it's still on my belt. One-handed. Oh. That is a hit. Eight slashing. Alright. And... A nine. Uh, that is, uh, that is a <coughs> miss. But, good on that first hit. Uh, Alright. All right, Traglin, mm-hmm. you breathe a sigh of relief as as Ore manages to uh, pour a potion uh, that removes that paralysis. Nice. Thankfully. Yep. Weren't there four of these bugs, or am I? Did I miss seat reading? Uh, yes. One one of them one of them skittered back into the oh, hole. Oh, I got it. Okay. Uh, another Eldritch Blast. This time, really concentrating hard. Feeling my muscles burn. You know, my shoulder muscles. <laughs> and <clears throat> realizing for the first time in my life that I can actually knock these things back a ways. As in the oh form of a God, repelling... Eldritch Blast. Oh, cool. That's great. Which these will push them back 10 feet in a straight line. So I'm thinking if I hit this one first and then this one and move them diagonally, like to here and here. All right. So 15 is going to hit this one here, um, pushing it back 10 feet. We are no! Off of the horse. Look out! <laughs> um, okay, 10 feet, and it flops to the ground and kind of rates itself. Um, your other blast uh, misses, but it does uh, 9 damage. Cool. Does my horse still need to make saving throws? Um, sorry, let me, let me check. Uh, if your aura will be frightened, yes. I know I'm Everybody shooting myself in the foot by reminding you, but I'm like, I keep Everybody thinking it's... wisdom throws. It's going to be Horsey spooked at some point. Save. All right. Okay, horse is scared. Yeah, look. Closer, Eeyore. 
Um, I like the token for Eeyore. <laughs> yeah, it's a painting, I think. It's, um... Okay, Eeyore. Eeyore shakes his fear of these bugs, and he can he can move forward now. And oh, okay. yes. Wisdom well, what I oh, wisdom six. Uh, okay. fourteen. Yep. Okay. I mean, I feel um, like there's no there's no way for me to do this in the normal rules, but I feel like Eeyore has to stomp on this bug, right? <laughs> yeah. What 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 should I like use my bonus action to allow it to happen, or 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 divorce Eeyore from my initiative? Or how do you want to do that? Yeah, I think uh, by where Eeyore would be have his own initiative at this point. Okay. Um, 16. So, yeah, he can stomp on the bug now. All right. Hoof attack. 21, 11 bludgeoning. Okay, this bug is looking horrible. You are rules. I, I don't know why I talked so much smack about horses not being strong. I mean, I could use more health. 19 is not a lot, but, but his attacks are pretty brutal. Um, <laughs> I'm going to swing around this way and can I grab this bug? Can I just, like try to grapple it and just pick it up? How big is it? Uh, they are small. Um, and... what, I, what I'd like to do is just throw it in the direction of the pits. <laughs> okay, sure. Uh... Let's I guess do I'll a grapple first. Grapple contest, but um, okay. these things have a minus two to their strength, mm -hmm. so they're pretty easy to pick up. Uh... <laughs> wow. Yeah, you can do it. You can pick it up. <laughs> There's no meat here! Uh, I mean, I guess. I'll let you go if you stay gone. Oh, oh you want to go? Do you want to stay here and eat meat, or do you want to go? I'm going to eat you. You got that, buddy? I'll run away. I'll go away. Just talk me out of this horrible light. <laughs> I'm going to throw him over here. <laughs> and, and they're not really speaking. It's more just like telepathic thoughts in your head. Um, yeah, yeah. It's, I, I imagine it's a little like, I don't know if this this might be cruel or this might be a real thing, uh, but I feel like I've heard people say that if, if like a, a, a uh, an animal, like a pet, has a biting problem and they bite your finger, just try to keep your finger in their mouth and they'll be like, ah, no, I don't want to do that anymore. <laughs> Suddenly this is something I don't want. And then they... <laughs> So I feel like it's a little bit like that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and I just throw it away. Should, should I? You think you think it's like a second attack to throw it? Because I would be happy with that if it's like both of my attacks to pick up and throw. If not, I'm going to try to throw the other one. <laughs> uh, no, I, I think it makes sense for you to use your action, your, your other attack action to, to throw it away. Um, it it lands there. Um, and on its turn, it can decide what to do. Uh, I'm just gonna the hold the, the no. I'm just gonna hold the sword up in the air for maximum light. <laughs> All right. Um, on the bug's turn, let's see what are they gonna do. Um, Uh, this bug here is going to 
uh, chitter and uh, scramble into the dim light, um, hoping to be able to uh, teleport back into the warm darkness of its tunnel, but it can't. So it has to scramble along a long way and walk over there. Um, this one here is going to move into the dimness outside of the torchlight. Um, and it will be able to teleport this turn. So it will, it will poof back into its dark lair. Um, last one here, um, <coughs> is gonna see that this little ambush has, uh, been unsuccessful. But it's just a glutton for punishment, so he's gonna keep trying to swing at Traglin. One last hopeful claw. Uh, but wait, at a, ni a 19 would hit Traglin, so. Uh, 2d4 plus 2. Or six damage, six more damage to Draglin. Um, and then, uh, Draglin, can you make a constitution saving throw? Oh boy, you are once again paralyzed as the toxins of this creature uh, seep into you. Uh, okay. Um, uh, seeing that, um, the, the bug will, um, will, will do a little, a little dance and, um, I'm not sure, uh, yeah, it, it will just do, do a little victory dance on your head, Traglin. Um, okay, that was... That was bugs. Oh yeah, you're up. Back when uh, to get paralyzed. Charlotte's paralyzed again? Yep. Uh I'm just gonna try like I'm taking Traglin's hat away. I'm just gonna try to swipe the bug off of his head and grapple okay. it. Alright. Twenty two. I mean, it's not gonna, yeah, negative one. Yeah, you get it. <laughs> it's in I'm gonna walk over to the pit here and just put it in the hole and then just hold the sword over the top of the hole. Like, you don't want this, man. You don't want this. <laughs> it will skitter out of sight until the light of the sword is no longer in its eyes. Um, and... <laughs> This one will continue to the hole and out of sight. Uh, and within within 30 <coughs> seconds or so, the Zagrin, uh, you, can, you can roll for a um, for con save if you want to see how long this takes, but eventually it does wear off. Oh, there you go. You're, you're free. You're free. Aura is like a little high on like getting through an encounter without killing anyone. Uh, and he's like, that went really well, right? And you look just like absolute death. <laughs> Rock and stone! Oh, hey, I think this is one encounter where you didn't take too much damage, but Traglin is almost dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, you I, I didn't get to use my new ability to take damage from Traglin because he was... He, he started with, like, double my health. Hmm. We ended up about the same, though. Look at that. 23, 24. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Whew. Um, yeah, I mean, I will make sure Treklin's okay before we keep going, but, but yeah. Yeah. 
now we definitely have to rest as soon as we're like past these yeah. pits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get you guys ride past the pit. No more bugs come after you, um, and you guys manage to find a relatively safe little clearing in the trees and uh, bed down. Um, do you guys want to take uh, take watches or um, just? Trust probably, that. probably better. <laughs> Trust the forest. Yeah, <laughs> I think oh, I think we better watch. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take uh, first watch with with Traglin, uh getting the worst end with that last combat. Okay. Oh, right. um, and I, and will, I'll, I'll, I will let you guys. I will let you guys have a, a rest without actually. Okay. Bothering you with anything this time? Uh, well, it'd be fair. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's that's. Uh, we maybe run run through the forests encounters for now. I do like the idea of 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 like trying to get a rest gets interrupted. We have to keep going. Level of exhaustion, you know. Try to find a good spot to rest. Mm. Kind of keep, you know. But, but that's somewhat of a death spiral. I, I, I do I do like that um, I do like that idea um, I think how to under what circumstances to implement it but I do like the idea right um, and um, we are two short rest based characters we've really got we really got to take a short rest when we have the opportunity <laughs> that that last fight I was like oh my god but I could have had a uh, 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 channel divinity. Mm. Actually, maybe that's it. Maybe that's all I could have had. Yeah. I guess I'm mostly a long list character. But I mean, as far as what you guys have done, you guys are doing really good. I say, um, busy day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the bar. The bard sat that one out. You know what? He's been he's been he he, he earned a break. I think it's fair that he sat that fight out. Yeah, yeah. I forgot about the bard. <laughs> Maybe we we had switched him over to to Eeyore for a little bit at the time. Yeah. I forgot. I totally forgot about him too. But uh, k kudos, kudos to to you and Oe for always going back and trying to find a way to, to free him. <laughs> um, all right, you guys wake up uh, refreshed. Uh, morning sun is coming up through the through the leaves of the forest here. You guys get your oh yeah, change the music. Back. Um, half of your uh, hit point die back, um, spells and whatever else you guys get back on a long rest. Uh, how are you guys doing on food? Oh, I always forget about that. Um, um, aside from the bog art, bo bo bog art? No. The thing that stole your food last time. Yeah. So let me see how many nights have we had since I looked at my rations. Uh, I had two rations in my inventory because you did the the ration shopping, and I think we didn't mm -hmm. divvy them up. Yeah, we. I think so, we did divvy them up. Yeah. Uh, I didn't divvy them. <laughs> I didn't oh. take any. Oh, oh, oh! I. I gave I you a couple. Uh, I don't remember what I gave you now. Well, let's see. I have two right now. Mm -hmm. Did the did the bogger take rations from me or from Traglin? I believe it was um, you. you. It was Ori. You, okay. How many? One. One. What? Okay, so I have one ration. So I would have used one ration at, at some point. How many how many do you think I would have used? So I'm out of I'm at zero rations, but do I need to take any more from what we've done so far? 
we we traveled how many days from uh, Badenville? Uh, we we uh, we can say you're out of rations at this point, and just okay. say you, you're out at this point. I'm out. <laughs> All how right. many? How many you got, Traglin? Let me look. Let me look. Uh... I, I like the idea if you short rest without a ration or some kind of food that you take a level level of adoption. You mean long rest uh, or yeah. short rest? Yes. Long, long rest. Uh, um, I also like that. Uh, I think that might be rules as written. But or maybe not. Would have been your your last ration. Uh, Oh, okay. Rations. I have yeah. a ton here. Have half of mine, and I'll give you four rations. <laughs> Whoa! And I'll also feed the horse and eat one right. myself. We got some horse feed, I think. I definitely do. I can give yours one yeah. if you want me to. Uh, did we? Did we say that my horse doesn't eat? Um, it, it's a weird case. I don't know if your horse eats or not. Um, yeah, I think last time we aired on the side of doesn't eat just because it's more convenient, but, um, yeah. like for the players, but, uh, but I'm also happy to carry around horse feed, like, you know. Right. I, I think at this point your, um... Eeyore is more spirit than actual horse at this point. Yeah. So if he doesn't eat, that's not fatal to him. I, mm. I assume he likes to eat. Pretty yeah, much. I assume he likes but. to eat. And I'll just let him graze a little bit, but, you know, I think a normal horse would need to graze. Maybe he's like yeah. Ghosts in Harry Potter where, oh, I like the feeling <laughs> of eating. But I, I really just gotta find him some ghost grass. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he is also a real physical horse right now, so I, I don't know. Uh, but in any case, uh, yeah, I'll have I'll have. Let me write in the rations that I got. Trying. So I'll eat one, and I got three left. Nice. All right. Um, over the course of the next day, if you guys are heading to the road, you guys can get to the road. And um, from the road, are you guys going down to Rest Cave? Uh, I think I think so. All right. So we want to go talk to this sea snake up here. Yep. But, uh, I think our, I think our um, mission is in Rest Cave. From, from this lake, from the road here along, along that lake, you can see a very large, uh, looks like a sculpture of a, of a sea serpent or a oh. dragon of some sort. Wow. Yeah, like, it's a, it's a huge sculpture out there. Awesome. I just assumed it was a map flourish, like map detail. That's that's cool. You know anything about that, Trigon? I'm not sure I do. Hmm. I don't either. Uh, let me think. Uh, oh, well, no. Uh, let me do a history check. Oh, okay. Just because if I've heard something, it might make sense. Which, where does history come in the alphabet? There it is. Three? No, I don't know a damn thing. If I did, it's been long forgotten. I have, It's it's been a long time since I paid attention to any sort of like songs of other things. All right. Uh, what about our bard friend? Did he come with us? Maybe he knows something. Let's 
some jolly tune of a Um, it's been a while for, uh, Taliesin as well. Um, he does recall that... <coughs> he does recall that, um... That Worm Slayer has been, um, has been wielded by people in this, in this country for a long time and so um in the past that sculpture may be um referencing some great defeat in the past of a of a dragon okay Um, the rest of your journey down the road is relatively, um, calm and uneventful. Um, you guys get to the, the outskirts of Rust Caven and, um, you see all of these kind of like posted, um, Sorry, now you, you guys get to the gate of, of Rust Caven and um, the the guard on, on watch at the gate um, says, uh, oh, he hello, hello there, hello there. Um, f forgive me, I, I just need to do one thing uh, really, really quick. Um, apologies. Um, and the guard will press a... A iron, an iron rod gently against both of your, your, um, your foreheads, and will also touch it to, to the, uh, the horses that you guys have, and, um, whatever he's, whatever he's looking for, he, he doesn't seem to see it, so he's like, oh, okay, thank you very much, and, uh, wa waves you on through. All right. A backwards weird glance. Uh, that was odd. Got dragon detector or something? See if we have uh, any dragons stuffed in our jacket? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, you can make a history check. Yeah, sure. Uh, all right. Um, so the, having been, um, in, in your recent adventures, um, extensively involved with, uh, with fey creatures, um, you would think that the, the iron bar touching to, to people, um, would be some oh. kind of a sense of whether they are actually fey in disguise or not. Interesting. Oh, I wonder if the king will like that book that we've got. Hmm. <sighs> or maybe he would super not like it. Ah. <laughs> uh... Uh, your, um, rescued, uh, companion, uh, Taliesin will, uh, will look around at the, uh, at the market, um, at the bustle <laughs> of people, uh, breathe a sigh of, huge sigh of relief, and, um, will wonder if he could beg a few, a few gold from you to, uh, to get some new, some new garments. The ones he's wearing right now are very old. No. Very yeah. decent. No, oh. you may not beg off of us. However, I will go out with you tonight and we will do a uh, duo, duo, duet performance. You play, I will add the lyrics. Me and Mr. Twiggles. Aww. 
I'm not very good, but I can do like a like a backing sort of. If you give me a note, I can just kind of do it every <laughs> once in a while. <laughs> I have I have a. Uh... Oh wait a minute! No, I think I did take. Yes. Okay, I am proficient with my. Um... I think I must have just forgotten to put the pipe pipes proficiency on my sheet. All right. I'm still not quite not pretty good at it. Uh, do, do you want to do that performance now? One minute. Maybe, uh, uh, well, we probably should get this guy some new clothes before we go see, like, the king. Ah, uh, yes. I mean, I don't want to, like... That was a very cool offer. I don't want to undercut you, but I'm happy to give this guy three gold. That seems like he could buy some real nice clothes with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, that's that's actually not a bad idea. Let's get him something now. He can I can pay us back later. I, yeah, I'll, I'll give him I'll give him three gold and I'll, I'll whisper in his ear. You don't gotta pay me back. It's cool. <laughs> Oh, but I, but, but I will, good sir. But I will. Um, uh, Talison will, will go off into the market um, and will come back a little while later dressed in, you know, a fairly simple clothing, but it looks at least much better than, than what he was wearing before. And he's used some of the, some of the gold to also get a little bit of a, a little bit of a trim to his hair and um, he looks and smells uh, much, much fresher than, than he was before. He says, ah, that's much better. Thank you. Thank you, good sirs. Uh, I, I don't, did I, did I, I, I know you're Owe, and you are... I am Traglin. And did you tell uh, us your name? Tra I mean, we sort of I, told him. Oh, that's right. <laughs> you told me. Oh, that's right, right, that's right. But don't tell me back. In fact, uh, I think I made a suggestion, but you might not have heard it. We should give you a pen name, just so you don't get your name stolen again. You should go by something else. And my thoughts. Yeah, Kimosabi. It's a pretty good one. I like that. Or maybe like uh. My other idea was Net. Brad. We can call, just call you Brad. Is Brad the Bard maybe better? Brad, Brad the Bard is pretty good. Um, Bard Simpson. <laughs> I didn't make that up. That was a player character. Uh, he he will think about it for a moment and say, "Yes, Brad the Bard has has a has a ring to it." Uh, sure, let's let's go with Brad and Brad Bard Brad Brood. Back where I'm from, it's short for Bradley. Of course, yes. <laughs> Nis Nisilet Nisilat. No, that doesn't. Work. I was looking at Talison backwards. Oh gosh! It sounded like something backwards. Oh, in the city, I you know I never really know what to do when I get to the city. There's just so much. <laughs> I guess I guess we should. Uh, I think we should probably all clean up a little bit. <laughs> Well, I found a very good barber down that way, and um, there's a, a place that's selling perfumes down down the other way, if, if you ever mind, of either of those. Um, I, I was just thinking an inn with like a, one of those, one of those baths is sort of just like a big bucket, you know what I mean? You like put your feet in it. That's sort of my, more my vibe, like kind of a cowboy bath. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, um... After asking around, yeah, you can find one of one of those. Um, there is a um. Oh, wait a minute, though. Yeah. Um, is there like an um a temple in the city that is affiliated in some way with? Uh, uh, like, um, uh, like Nienna and, uh, uh, a, a temple that might take the oath of redemption that, that might, cause I have that background feature. I do feel like, uh, or I would go yes, for that it first. <gasps> oh, heck. Um... <laughs> All oh, right, you've got a background feature. I got a background that works feature in town too, right? Yep. If you're an entertainer. If I'm an entertainer, I get to stay at the inn for free. Awesome. We, could, we both get a, we both get places. I mean, I guess I can piggyback off your background feature, but I'm gonna clean up at the. You know what? I think we don't have to role play this because I'm springing it on you, but um, I do think Ore would look. For like a, a temple of Nienna or, or like a similar, not necessarily an elven like faith, but but that would probably be the most accessible to him, where he could find either like a cleric of Nienna or another one who has taken the oath of redemption, and I think he would, because I was looking at the I was looking at the um, paladin uh, while I was leveling up. And under their section about breaking your oath, they were talking about how, like, if you if you don't break your oath, but you kind of brush up against it a little bit, you feel like you're straying. A lot of paladins basically would do, like, confessions, which I think makes sense. And so I feel like Ore, Ore feels like he's been going a little ham. He's been, like, maybe killing a little too readily. He's He's, like... He just, you know, one shot somebody in the woods um, and killed a hag. It was definitely like, you know, not even the ringleader. And so he feels he feels a little bit like those were probably necessary, but he's not sure. And it's and it's making him uncomfortable how like easy that was. Hmm. And he wants to like confess that to a to a cleric and uh, uh, talk through, you know, that. And also just get cleaned up. Sure. Yeah. Um, yeah, aside from the confession bit, I'm kind of on the same boat. Um, I'm sure we have shopping to do, but maybe we should see the king first, because he might hook us up. Do we want a break first? A little 10 minute or something like that? Sure. I'm back at like thirty five. Yeah, that's my yeah. thought. Good idea. We can do that. See you then. Okay. In intermission while the characters do their, their downtime stuff. All right.
Yep. Ah. Okay. Yes. Uh, so you guys managed to find your, your lodging, and um, over there you find a, a cleric to talk about your, your troubles with. Yeah. Um, Callison uh, is feeling much more refreshed being back in civilization and not in a hole in a swamp <laughs> literally I want to maybe keep a little bit of an eye on Talison because I'm almost a little worried he's gonna like go a little too wild like getting and like just you know he he reacted so strongly to the instrument being gone or I was like oh no like he's gonna make another deal <laughs> So, yeah, good I'm point. Ready to, I'm ready to take him aside if I need to and just, just be like, you, you know, you might want to take it easy for a little bit. You've been out of the game for a while. <laughs> good point. It wasn't just an instrument, it was a magical instrument. It was amazing. Yeah, but, I mean,. Is it really worth, you know, going through what you've been through and more, which is what's going to happen if you try to get a magical instrument from hell? <laughs> I feel like... I mean... <clears throat> I've made some hold down. choices, I hope. <laughs> I hope I've learned in my centuries that perhaps making deals with hags shouldn't be encouraged, which will be the subject of my next song. I think Don't you're right. go to a hat. I think you're right, but I also think it's important to remember that it could have been worse. You could have made deals with much far and worse things. And could still be there. So, you know, it, it's... Take it easy, you know? Feel, uh, get, uh, get a feel for your new self. And, and trying to figure out what's what's important in, in this new life of yours. <clears throat> that is true. This is a this is a, a new a new a new lease on what I can do with my very long life. Are you like I gotta maybe you don't know. Are you like immortal now? Did she <laughs> Is there still like, or did she just sort of put everything on pause and now it's playing again? Um, hmm. I mean, were you this old before she trapped you? Oops, sorry. I should. <laughs> <laughs> um,. <clears throat> Uh, but from what he can tell, um, it seems to be some kind of a, a pausing. Like he, he was, he was, he was that old, and then it just kind of got paused while in the yeah. entrapment of the of the hack. Do you feel like it's uh, things are moving again? Curse is fully broken. I guess time will tell. I mean... I suppose time will tell. I was going to say, gosh, if he got back from freshening up at the water hole. Yeah, things are moving again. Ugh. 
No, I um. You, it's your life. You do do what you want, please. And I mean that. Um, but if you need help, I I happen to know a little something about starting fresh. Um. The, uh, and I'll tell him about. Uh, I think I think if we're like at a you know at, at, at getting getting um, I guess in the city I don't know that you have like coffee shops but like whatever medieval people eat in the morning together I'm sure there's something uh, uh, I'll maybe tell him and I, and I'll probably tell Trago for the first time uh, I I don't think I'm gonna go into like gruesome detail but I'll just mention that like. I don't think this is the first time this body has lived. Uh, I don't remember anything, but I'll just mention that I woke up one day, I don't remember anything, and there were a lot of, like, uh, basically I had to figure out what, like, to do, and it was the temple of... uh, Omar Elme that eventually seemed like the path forward, and I'll just tell him about, uh, yeah, the, the weeping wood, uh, and then that kind of thing. There's a lot of songs about it, I think. Yeah, your story resonates with me, and I think I will. I will try and um, seek out that that uh that temple that you you mentioned and perhaps perhaps see what they can what they can teach me amazing that's like three guys right i've got like three yeah i'm on a roll man <laughs> like you know we're, that's not really the goal with us we're not you know we don't really have missionaries and stuff but it's still nice you know to get sort of a, a conversion every once in a while. It's not what we go for, but it's nice when it happens. Uh, <clears throat> let's see. Um, as you guys are, are talking at the, the little the little coffee shop or or a tea stand or uh, what whatever. Uh, what what say what's say it's tea? What's it? It's yeah, tea. Yeah, that would be tea. When you said that, um, that felt right. Yeah, with with it with like outside tables and so forth. Um, are you making any attempt to uh, to just to hide Wormsire? Uh oh, that's a good question. It is. I'm aware that it is a legendary <laughs> blade. I think that I think I probably would. Um, I don't think I would like hide it, hide it, but it would be. In its sheath, uh, with uh, cloth wrapped around the handle and the sheath together, mostly just to keep it from falling out of the sheath, but all it would also cover the hilt and, and, and everything. But some of the some of the scabbard would be showing. Sure, sure. So an eagle-eyed passersby could possibly spot it. But, mm-hmm. you know. Okay. And it's the least prominent weapon that I'm wearing because I have it. Right, right. Between the great axe and everything yeah. else. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um I'm 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 gonna go with the first row of the six. Alright. Uh nobody notices. Uh okay. What do you guys do now? <laughs> We have an audience with the king. Yeah, I mean that might be hard to swing, but but we gotta give it a shot. I mean, I can always pull out uh, WS. If, if, if it, if it comes to that. Oh, that that was another question I had for you guys. Um, when the mayor of Badenville wrote that letter, did he did he hand it to you guys or did he send it in the post? Oh, uh, we I, were headed to the city, but... I don't remember being handed it, so... 
I had added to my inventory, but I also didn't add, I often forget that kind of thing. Um, whatever would make more sense if we think the po if the post is like reliable enough and fast enough that it would get there first and re reliably, then, then probably the post. If not, then it probably would have gone with us. Um, yeah. Well, you guys did take a couple days detour, so if it was yeah. by the post, it probably did get there mm -hmm. Yeah. prior to you guys getting there. By the post, then. You guys have it on hand now. I think, retroactively, we can say that's what happened, mm -hmm. um, and you guys can just present it now, or whenever you get around to it. Um, so I'm fine with either way. I would think the post, just based on the fact that I don't remember actually getting the note at all. But, okay. um, no, if, yeah, if, if Ore has it. I'm trying to think, like, security-wise, what would they do <laughs> if you're granting audience? Right. If you're trying to get someone audience to the king, do you send it over the post and describe the people that are supposed to, well, that it corresponds uh, to? Or I do was you give it to the people that it corresponds to? Do you have a mark? or some sort of crest that you could have showed the mayor and now show the king and be like, I am the same person that they mentioned in the letter based on my code right. of arms. I haven't, this, I haven't made one up, but, but people but tend to have that, I guess. Just for simplicity, and I, I agree the security is is a concern, mm. like how, how, do you, how do you know? Um, let's say that it's, it's on you guys. Okay. One of you has that makes sense. Okay. Um, I'll give it to Traglin because Traglin's okay. also got the book. Traglin seems like the paper, the paper trail guy. Like okay. All right. You probably keep the books, right? Sure. Between the two of us. Sure. Yeah, I can do that. Yeah. Alrighty, uh, so no passerbys have noticed Worm Slayer, so you're not going to get a crowd of people suddenly surrounding you. Um, <laughs> but, uh, you guys go to the king at this point? Mm -hmm. I would say sure. Head right towards, the, towards the palace. Yeah. Alright. Um... Only towards the palace, all right. So the the king's palace and keep is like the the largest building closest to to the docks here. Um, and as you approach, um, a, a guard on duty will will kind of do the same the same double checking with a with a a, a, a iron. Um, he'll he'll draw his dagger actually and and press it lightly against against uh, your your skin and any any gold you might be carrying just like kind of swiping it through just checking. Um, Interesting. And then uh, he will call for a uh, a steward who will. Take your take your your letter from the mayor of Battenville, uh, and uh, after a few minutes, um, the same steward will will return and will usher you into the presence of the king of Ruskland, <laughs> uh, who is. Um, an older, older gentleman, he's got a long, like, kind of, uh, sweeping white beard, you know, very, very sharp, cunning-looking eyes, um. Do we bring uh, the bard with us? I feel like uh, he could yes. be useful. Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah, Traglin, uh, wow, Traglin, uh, Talison. Talison, okay. Talison is is with you guys. Yes. Um. Uh, yeah. So um. 
the uh, the king of Rushgland will um, will get up and from his throne. Actually, no, he'll stay seated down on, on his throne. Um, but he will say that he'll have the, the letter from the mayor in his hand, and he will say, "It seems you've done some good work." Um, if in in Badenville and the surrounding uh, forest, um, have you been properly compensated by the mayor for your efforts over there? Mm, properly, Jeez. he had promised that you. Well, it seems that our. Um... We uh, did what we could, but it seems that the mayor was hoping for a more, a more definitive end to the dragon's reign. I, I don't know that that is, uh, was ever necessarily our mission, but if that is necessary, um, we would hope for more support, maybe. Uh, it seems that destiny is on our side. And I'll, I'll present the sheath, Worm Slayer. Oh my goodness! And the king will actually stand up and uh, come come down to, down to you as you present uh, Worm Slayer to him. And I'll, I'll hand it to him. And I'm kneeling, though I'm handing it to him. And there's like, I'm not asking to be knighted, but like, if he feels. <laughs> 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 well, um, this is, this is more than I could have hoped for. Um, I, I, from my vaults, I loaned Wormslayer out to Robert the Brave, and I never expected to, to see it again once he, once he failed against that horrible dragon, but, um, um, uh, well, this is amazing news, um, to tell me, tell me, um, you are, you are Owe of the Weeping Woods? Uh, would yes. you like to be Sir Owe of the Weeping Woods? Oh, uh, I would be, I mean, it would be an, an honor. <laughs> and, uh, the king will, will and, draw a worm slayer and will... And, 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 you know, dragons be really helpful too. Well, it's just so away. And, um, and the <laughs> Sir Traglin, and he'll, he'll know you yeah, yeah, as well. Traglin. What? What? I, I already was arisen. What the heck? I'm not that <laughs> short. <laughs> oh, well, kneel, kneel down, please. Oh, sorry. <laughs> and I can become even smaller. Arise, Sir uh, Traglin. Uh. Uh, are you Are you from this land, or are you f traveling from distant lands? Uh, Traglin, I... He is a Sir Tragman. I see he is a, a dwarf, and we don't have many dwarfs here. But um, uh, Sir Owe, are you from these lands? Um, possibly. Are you familiar with the uh, horse lords of old? The, the, uh, that's something I, I, I mentioned to you—the possible backstory of, of the. Uh, I never come up with came up with a better name than Horse Lords. Maybe I will, but I, you know, I left it up to you whether that was this land or not. But it was like a long time ago. It's basically it's like yeah, the Mongolian it, 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 Empire. It, 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 you know. I, I don't um, think it is. Um. Uh, no. Uh, Well, um, I, I do hope that the two of you and, and the, the, he'll, he'll, he'll notice, um, Talison. I do hope the three of you, um, 
will we'll be guests at, the, at this palace for, for some time at least. I, I would like to know what your adventures have been and what um, things you have overcome in your, your quest and where your destiny has led you. Um, the king will, uh, will uh, sheath Worm Slayer and then um, will hand it off to a, a trusted uh, steward who um, shuffles off and um, the, the, the king says it will be put into the vault until, um, until the, that dragon makes, makes a new appearance. Um, uh... I mean, but he has. That's the problem. We are actually in pursuit of him right now. Indeed, do you have information on where the dragon is? Oh, uh, possibly. We know where. We don't know where the dragon is at the moment, but we've been um, tracking some of the dragon's dealings. Uh, the dragon itself has fled, but uh, it continues to indirectly haunt these lands, um, paying off hags and the like to, you know, poison various populations. Uh, indirect threats. Hmm. This is a cunning one. Wow. Well. Cunning and cowardly, I would say. He couldn't even eat an entire village of goblins. Rather tried to enslave them, and when he failed, he ran off. Like a worm. Like a... Well, you know, a worm. If I might make... Be so bold as to make a suggestion, Your Highness. Yes? In the letter that we've given you, it speaks of alliances with uh, goblins and, and other uh, uh, people who, who inhabit this, this land. If the dragon is waging a cold war against us, maybe we answer in kind, build up our alliances, make indirect uh, shows of force against the dragon and drive it farther away, close off all of its... Uh, Pathways to power. That is a fair point, and uh, yes, I, 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 I would say that if the, the the goblins in this letter here uh, remain brave against the the dragon, that um, yeah. A more formal alliance would certainly be in in the works if um, if everything works out and they don't um, waylay villages in the area if they maintain some form of civility. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna stand up and um, uh, like slowly and, and respectfully, but I'll say and. Uh, to that point, I think it's clear that the dragon leads through fear and makes threats. And I think, as powerful as your kingdom is, what threat can a kingdom make that a dragon can't make in kind? If we, if you, and, and our allies here, try to rule as the dragon would, it is my humble opinion that we will lose. Uh, what, what is, the, what is the, the point you're going for? I basically, he, he was very, very, very gently, like, not in any, like, actually bad way. He mentioned the fact that the, that the goblins, like, waylay, like, caravans and stuff. Uh, and I was just reacting to that, saying, like, basically in a very like as courtly a way as I can bring myself to like none of that none of that please like we're gonna we're gonna be diplomatic here like basically you know let's not you know 
uh, give you know ultimatums and threats to to the allies that we're trying to make. Oh. Okay. Uh, but but I wouldn't uh, like say that very directly to like the king. That, that would be yeah. out of line. Uh, I I know I know very few goblins. We haven't had um, interactions with them other than negatively. But if these particular goblins are civil in their interactions and they certainly seem to be they want to have an alliance then i am not opposed to that and as long as they as long as they are civil to us we will be civil to them i i think <clears throat> um The, uh, the king will, um, and, and you don't have to answer this now, but the king will, um, ask you to think about what your, what your knighthood will, will mean, uh, for your individual characters. So that could mean, um, perhaps a, a small, a small building and land around it. Or that could mean a a steady income through through the year. Um, so you guys can think about that. Yeah, I'll, I'll say we'll we'll want to discuss amongst ourselves. Yeah. Um, and you get to stay at the at the palace for for a while. That is that cool. is fun. Um, the king will um, invite you guys to to dinner that night at, at the, the palace and um, we'll give kind of a, a long-winded um, history of the land, um, uh, why it is so, um, why it's so, why they have that huge uh, forest in the middle of it um, and the main export of this country is uh, rusk, which is kind of a kind of like a, like a biscotti. But uh -oh. It's like like a travel cracker. But yeah. it, once you put it in your mouth, it just kind of like dissolves into this like lovely, sweet, um, nourishing uh, food. So uh, historically, they've always attributed that um, that particular grain and bread that they make uh to the the forest here which has always um always withstood their attempts to uh to cut it down so whenever they do try to expand a bit um it, it just kind of grows back or yeah. they run into uh, fey creatures or other tragedies that um, make it not worthwhile to expand further into into the forest. But so they kind of have a, a, a it's both a good thing and a bad thing. It enriches the fields, but they can't expand they, into. They can't expand. Forest. They have to. All their roads are circular. Can't have any direct direct roads. Yeah, that's pretty rough. Yeah. <laughs> slows everything down a bit so um our our rusk is used by the by the horsemen to the west and to the dwarves to the east and the the sailors that come into the port and all over all over it is very very nourishing and strengthens the the spirit as they say Um, uh, ba, 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 if once you guys have stayed in the palace for about a week, um, a very large uh, crate um, arrives addressed to um traglin 
Oh, really? Yes. Very large? Uh, yeah, like, uh, three feet by three feet. Three Am feet. I there? Uh, yeah, you you can be there. <laughs> Do divine sense? <laughs> 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 How long have we been here oh, so far? So it's been about a week. Okay. I think <laughs> I'm going to add some equipment. Namely, what did you say, Sean, about? Go ahead. What was uh, the last there, thing you said? There's no, there's no, your divine scent doesn't pick up anything. Okay. <laughs> I will uh, have been in with the local merchants and run down before I open it up and I'll run down and uh, buy myself a crowbar. Okay. <laughs> Just because more equipment. I never remember to buy stuff when I'm in town. Yeah, I'm going to have some stuff to buy, but figure we'll probably end soon right? Mm -hmm. So we can, yeah. we can do that, do what, what, what we bought. But your crowbar might be useful right now. All right. Um, you get your crowbar and start to pry open this crate. Um, inside is... Oh, gosh, it's been a week. Um, <sighs> inside is a letter addressed to you, Traglin. Oh my um, gosh, why did they pay so much in postage for just a letter? <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> crate's about a thousand times on. the weight. Uh, Traglin, yeah. we, um, and if, if you want, I'll type this up. But uh, Traglin, uh, we wanted <sighs> to thank you for your improvements to the to the stage um when you were visiting here and um your your improvements have made it the uh the the wonder of uh darkendale so uh we wanted to show your appreciation by uh sending you uh this and um, we, we picked this up at the Bazaar of the Bazaar when it was visiting nearby. Um, we hope you find it. Uh, we hope it never runs empty. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. come, come visit us again when, if you ever have the time. Um, so also in the crate, if you put aside all the straw and all the stuff they've managed to uh, pack in the crate of it, is an alchemy jug. Ooh. This is a jug with like 20 different stoppers in it. <laughs> and uh, if you pull out a particular stopper, it creates uh, the jug inside has a certain amount of liquid inside of it. So uh, you can get things like... Uh, Eight ounces of acid, um, eight gallons of water, two gallons of mayonnaise, four gallons of beer, a gallon of honey. Um, so uh, that is that is yours. I'm trying to get mayonnaise out of the bottle. Sounds... <laughs> I don't know enough. why two gallon two gallons of mayonnaise. <laughs> Cool. Okay. Yeah. Uh, the the letter would also note that um, they weren't sure if you would find the alchemy jug to be um, to be desirable, but if the um, if the Bazaar of the Bazaar uh, is ever visiting nearby you, you can trade it in for 
something of equal value. I see. Okay. Cool. Yeah. All right. Let's see. How does it work again? Let me look. I wonder if it's in the I compendium. It is. Oh, cool. But they made a bug in that they didn't add its weight. <laughs> Um, I mean, I don't think it's a bug. I don't think it actually has a... It says it's 12 pounds, whether full or empty. Oh, okay. So I'm like, eh, they didn't add the weight automatically. Oh, it's easy enough. Cool. I don't know what uses you're going to find for that, but I... I look forward to how you mayonnaise all around. Mayonnaise. Shake it. <laughs> <laughs> Drinks around. Hey. Oh yeah. On four the house. Yeah, no, four gallons. Oh, of two, well, two gallons of mayonnaise. Come on. That might spice up our rations a bit. So that's, yeah. that's nice. Yeah. To have. Honey or uh, mayonnaise or. Yep. Acid? Yes. Basic poison. <coughs> Eight ounces of basic poison. I like that. Yeah. Oh, wait. Eight <coughs> ounces of acid. Two ounces. Half an ounce of basic poison. Okay. I've got a figure. Oh. There's, a, there's a spell in my homebrew document that uses poison as like a spell component. You want to look at that? I think it's a warlock spell. I haven't gotten to test it yet. Uh, Traglin, what is your alignment? I guess I should know your alignment. Chaotic good? Uh, chaotic neutral. Okay. Alright. Uh, and, uh, oh, okay, you are not evil, at least? <laughs> um, neutral evil, actually. Oh. No, I'm, neut I'm neutral good. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, the night of, um, one or two days after Traglin, uh, receives that package from back when he worked with the dwarves. Um, uh, you guys actually, um, yeah, you guys have a, a restful sleep, actually. But, um, the next day, um, you overhear that, um, most of the, most of the lunatics have have broken out of their their asylum and several prisoners um that were being held for very grievous crimes have also managed to escape their cells and have rushed off uh en masse into the into the nearby woods I don't... if you hear music I yell to, out to the uh, woods. If you hear yeah. music, run toward it. I don't think Ori would be particularly compelled by that. Actually, he's not like a same. It's not like a cop, you know. He's he's like like he'll protect someone from, but he's not gonna like hunt down a criminal. I don't think without yeah. And I don't think he'd be particularly compelled by that uh, uh, assignment. Yep. Um, uh, yeah, the, um, the, the king will, will send out some, some guards to try and figure out what in the world happened. Um, and a, uh, an enormous crocodile, uh, was ripped apart 
by this mob of uh, lunatics and uh, criminals. And then well, they started to slay each other. Um, and uh, from the bloody footprints of the of the massacre, um, one person apparently walked away uh, into the woods. Wow. The news in this town is crazy. <laughs> uh, I think Ori's takeaway from this is uh, he's gonna he's gonna ask the the temple that he was at like what's the deal with with uh, Russ Caven's like mental health institutions. <laughs> uh, we can maybe. Uh, uh, yeah. Not that, not that we need to role play that. It's just yeah, yeah. partly a trip. <laughs> um. Wow. Yeah. I mean, I'm not sure what we would do about that right now, but that's very interesting to know. Makes people feel like that crocodile might have been more than than we realized. Hmm. Or the fact that it died, maybe that proves that it wasn't. I don't know. They made it to the hut though. That's interesting. And the and seemingly the hag isn't the hag didn't finish them off. That's strange. If they made it to the hut and saw your letter of threats, what would it? What would they do? You think she left it there? Hmm. If she made it back there, or do you think maybe she like? Oh, yeah. I mean, I do wonder how she reacted to that. I mean, my so Ore's hope, although I think maybe a little naive he's not particularly naive but I think he can be I think his hope is that that letter could be the end of it with the hag I think he was he was like you know like this is over all right <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah, uh, yeah I don't know if she'll take it that way <laughs> yeah I got that okay yeah yeah. Um you you did you did notice that when you went to the hag's hut a second time um to when you successfully freed Talisman that uh you didn't see any any note any indication that that giant crocodile was at the hut. Yeah, and I actually noticed that that the crocodile didn't didn't Try to stop us. Hmm. Hmm. And they encountered the crocodile on the edge of the wood? Yep. Like, right about, right about. Ooh. Wonder if it was tracking us somehow. Oh, that's just what we need uh, is like another bigger tail. <laughs> we already got the bug. I'm going to look around really quick. Look under the table. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. where did that guy go? Um, let's see. Uh, you didn't ask for a perception check, so you don't have to respond to that. I never expect anything. I never expect to get anything from unprompted rolls. <laughs> it, it just sometimes it's funny to roll to make a roll without saying anything. But I just know that I don't. I don't expect to get anything if I roll something without you telling me to. Yeah. Um. From what you have gathered, um, uh, at least the palace itself is pretty strongly warded against. Right, they kept putting. Yeah. Uh, intruding without notice, at least. Um, so right. 
there, there is a, a wizard working under the king who does the wards every week or so. Um, and he, you, you've seen that, that wizard, like, chase after, um, either, either bits of his imagination or things that he's been sensing that, uh, have been trying to, uh, creep into the, into the palace. So, it seems to be fairly well warded in the palace, at least. Um, and I think, I think this is a good pausing point here. Um, yeah, good, good session. Did a lot. Yeah. yeah. We'll, have to, we'll figure out, figure out what we got slash did during our downtime. Um, yeah. And as for the, as for the being knighted, it actually, before you even brought it up, right after I got knighted, it occurred to me that like, oh, you know what? I bet Ore is a little, like with paladins getting knighted and, and, and stuff. I wonder how that works because I imagine there's an understanding that like a paladin's oath comes first and it might be frustrating. I, I'm sure a king is aware of the fact that like taking a paladin under your service is a little bit dangerous because mm-hmm. their oath always comes first and they the like at least most paladins i imagine would be on up front about that is like you know any loyalty i swear comes second to the oath that i've taken and, and i'm I, I imagine like that would be kind of you couldn't let, like say that to a king normally probably but i bet a paladin probably Good, right? Because there's like, because it's like I a think, magical I, thing. I think I think it would be understood. Yeah. Okay. What? Yeah. I, I think I think even even so, the, the king would still knight you as a sign okay. of respect for what you've done so far. I'm almost more of a independent contractor. Right. Uh. Uh, Daniel, do you want me to type up what that letter said? Um, sure. Yes, that would be helpful. Because uh, <laughs> this is also, okay. it said it was from a place that I don't recognize the name of. So I would imagine uh, it's kind of outside yeah. of the last five sessions. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, I, I guess, uh, we haven't really talked about your backstory too much. If you want to change the name, you can. Or uh, what the specific details are. No, it's um, a, it's a, it's good. I, I, I like the, I liked the name. That sounded cool. Uh, cool. But yeah, I apologize for not getting back with you on like, what magical items do you actually want? And I'm like, I have no idea. So. It, it, it's okay. I, I think right. that this is at least somewhat useful, and mm-hmm. if you encounter the bazaar, the bazaar, mm-hmm. you can always you can make an exchange for something else. Sure, sure. I, I oh. sent my my handout that I was planning on porting over before I realized I can't do that. Um. Oh, the note you left. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And uh, uh, what did I call it? A message for Granny Weatherfax. <laughs> cool. Um. Gosh, I also had an idea. What's the king's name? Uh, does he right. have a name? That is a good. Uh, yes, he does. I have. I have names. Okay. Um. Brel Rudrev. Okay. Brel Rudrev. Because I was thinking if he could be like Brel McKellen, he just knighted Ian, and we'd have now a Sir Ian of McKellen. Anyway. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> um. And, uh, oh yeah, it should to 
put stuff in the player notes. Um, I think you guys should have access to edit. That. Right. That's right. Uh, under yep. player handouts, yeah. player notes, party treasure. Yeah. Cool. Um, oh, yeah. Can you move the new Ore and Eeyore up to... Uh, yeah. Oh, we're all yeah. still in blank characters. Wait, 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 we don't, we don't get a subfolder of our own? I'm going to do some reorganizing here. Okay. Uh, I was no actually... Rush. I was actually wondering why we named you we named your characters delete. And I was like, what? <laughs> it's because I've been making them in a different oh. roll twenty and then transferring them over, but I okay. can't delete anything here, so I have to mark them for deletion. I see. So mm -hmm. so, so uh John can delete them. Um Ooh. Oh yeah, I'll have to delete Worm Slayer from my sheet. That's sad. Well, I, well, I guess I won't yet. I'll leave it there for. Now. But I mean, I'm not gonna, you know. I would just say un un unequip it, and then you'll be, yeah. you'll be okay. That's what I do. Yeah, right. If I run out of torches, I just say zero torches and unequip it. The oh. thing I want to get most of all, I think, is like right, the thing off the top of my head that I want to pick up is uh, a shield. Mm. I've got a sword. Oh, I don't have a sword anymore. That's why I wanted to get a shield, is because I had Worm Slayer. That's okay. But I think a shield would still be good for me. Maybe I'll pick mm -hmm. up a shield and a one handed weapon. Because I often am taking a lot of hits. It would be nice to have that extra. Right. Plus, two AC would be nice, yeah. Yeah. Um, I, don't know. I don't know if I'm ready for to splurge on heavy armor yet because I don't I have one gold uh Traglin has all the money but I don't think Traglin has heavy armor money right 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 damn do we have to just do a job <laughs> <laughs> round up the insane that escaped yeah. oh boy I, that would be I, yeah typical yeah, does not feel. It's tough. I feel. I feel like. I feel kind of mean. I feel kind of rude almost. Playing a paladin and being like, no, I don't want to do that one. Like for the DM to get. I, I usually wouldn't do that, but I feel like playing a paladin. If I get a mission, I don't know. I'm torn. I want to. I want to be like. I don't want to do that. I don't think he'd do. That. <laughs> I don't think he'd do. That. And, and by, 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 by the way, I should. I should clarify. All of the insane people mm -hmm. and all of the criminals, except one, they died. Yeah. Right, right, right. So I, he, I guess he would be tempted to, to be like, if I could find that guy, I'd like to just know what the hell happened. Sure. Um, um, huh. But that I, I I also feel like that wasn't. Am I right that that wasn't like necessarily a quest that you were handing us, and more just like news of the town that might be important later? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, it was um, just kind of details that. Yes. Yeah. yeah very uh, spooky. What happened? Okay. Yeah. Um. Leading. Another technical issue, not issue. The bard that we rescued, which I still can't remember his name, is he going to be considered? Talizen. Yeah, Talizen. Is he considered a hireling, or whatever uh, you would call those here? It's fun to have a hireling. I and, mean, and will we okay. will we be able to control him as such <laughs> in like initiative and stuff? Since we have so few actual players, I'm okay with Talison being a a hireling with some levels of board, presumably. Um, uh, obviously, if, if he got back his instrument from hell, he would be like a completely different class of hireling, but... Uh, 
kind of happen. Yeah, I'm I'm okay, I'm okay with Talison being a a hireling that you guys have access and control to. I I would I would send you the my my formula for doing hirelings like that are used for against the cult of the reptile god. I, I don't think I ever fully like standardized it. You know, I think I always kind of felt it out. I did have a method for hit points because that was the core thing. Is like for the hirelings, I wanted them to be simple and have like one or two things they could do that would all would like use, almost always be helpful. Mm -hmm. And I wanted them to have enough hit points to survive. So they would have, like, a, a number of hit points that were on par with a player character of that level. Of, the, of like, would, they'd have about as much hit points as the players, but the, the stuff they could do was fewer and less powerful, you know? So they were, like, defensively as powerful as the characters, but offensively a little bit less. So I guess I'll send you... I'll send you an equivalent, like, sixth level um, minstrel hireling, just so you can see what I what I uh, did then, but you don't have to use that, because it's, like, it's just the, it's just a very simple, like, thing that I made for myself. Uh, you know, yeah. I'm not even recommending that you use it. Uh, so I'll send it to that. I will take a look. Thank you. Hmm? No. I have one hireling that I've always wanted somebody to take but but i just haven't gotten to use the hirelings enough and someone's always playing a mage of some kind but i always wanted somebody to take the fire mage hmm. hireling no one ever did so hmm. maybe someday okay uh traglin here is your trusty steed nilgart <laughs> okay Mm. Someday maybe I'll get. Oh God! If I put Barding on Eor and Eor disappears, I have to carry that shit around. Yeah. <laughs> I think I just won't bother. <laughs> I think. I think I just won't bother. <laughs> so I can redirect hits away from the horse. That's yeah. enough. No, no barding for you. <laughs> Not that I can afford it, anyway. What is barding? Oh. Armor. I mean, I would imagine we just burn it along with him. Oh, except he doesn't die. <clears throat> he just disappears. Yeah. <sighs> right. And it's, of course I and it's <laughs> like expensive. I also looked up bard on Google. Barding in Google. Mm. The first thing it gave me was the dictionary definition, which is verb, to cover meat or game with slices of bacon. Uh, okay. The venison was barded and on. marinated. <laughs> I'm like, I'd rather not do wow. that to my magic horse. But, right. Uh, <clears throat> uh, I guess, you know what? I, I'm assuming that it has to be like heavy like plate armor, but I guess it could be leather. Okay. Still, I'm probably just not going to bother. I'll get myself some armor first if, when I can afford it. How how much gold do you have, by the way, Traglin? I only ask because you have all of it. Um, now I have 182. Eh, yeah, round up to is, 183 is, with the copper I've got. but Yeah, that is not armor money. Okay. Well, I'm fine with my splint mail for now. That's like one step away from full plate, I think. I think it's literally full plate is plus one, so that's not worth that's not worth it right now. Well, do you think we have I can get a shield? Yeah. For like six gold or something, ten gold. I don't know how much a shield is, but do you think we really have embarrass any... the king? Do we have any sway right. with the king? And now that we are knighted and on this to ask for the reward, um, a partial reward ahead of time, just to fund our efforts, and then the remainder when we successfully kill ask, the thing. Ask the king for a shield, and he's like, "How much does a shield cost these days? Thirty gold? Six hundred gold? 
You you do have some sway with the king now that you are knighted. Um, and if you make a persuasion check, he might give it to you. If, if, if it's like a shield or something, if it's like full plate, he, he's not going to say it. Yes, to that. But because of the time. I bet if we go, I bet if we had a quest, it might be a little easier to right. to leverage the game for right. for equipment. Because we um, can say like, we're going to go off and do this. Can we have some healing potions? Right. That might work better. The hobbits are going to yeah. Isengard. If we do that, though, we've both got good charisma. Mm -hmm. You might have better than me, but I can get plus five. With a with with a channel divinity, hmm. that would be better than anything I could do with a straight persuasion. So I can only do that once per you know short short rest. Okay. So in a drawn out conversation, it might not be. You might be better, but uh. So uh, think about what your knighthood might mean for your characters, and uh, I'll see you guys next week, I guess. See ya. Okay. Have a good one. All right.